Hello everyone, Bob Fred here. Today I wanted to answer the question of what's the most damage you can deal in Tears of the Kingdom. First off, let me explain what clothes and food we'll be using. We'll be wearing a bone proficiency armor set for a 1.8 times modifier to all bone type attacks, with an attack up 3 food for a 1.5 times modifier on all attacks. Additionally, all weapons will have the attack up plus 10 modifier. And lastly, all two-handed weapons have a .95 divider, and all spears have a 1.32 divider. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at the first weapon. This weapon is a pristine royal claymore with a Molduga jaw fused to it. Royal weapons have the weapon ability Improved Flurry Rush, which makes the whole weapon do two times more damage during a flurry rush. So, we end up with a damage output of 443, absolutely destroying this Hinox. Unfortunately, not all enemies can be flurry rushed, so let's take a look at the next setup. This time we're using a light scale trident, which like all Zora weapons has the water warrior ability, granting 2 times damage when Link has the drench effect. This status can be easily achieved via Sidon, Splash Fruit, or Chew Jelly. So with that in mind, this weapon deals 237 damage each hit. This might seem like less than the previous weapon, but since it can be used on any enemy in the game, and you don't need to wait for a flurry rush, it ends up being better. You can see the Hinox clips side by side, showing why the Trident is better. The next weapon we are using is the infamous Lionel Killer. As I'm sure you're aware, this weapon is extremely restrictive as it's only usable on the back of a Lionel, where it takes no durability. Since this is a pristine Royal Guards Claymore, it has the weapon ability Breaking Point, giving the sword a 2 times modifier when it's badly damaged. Something the game doesn't tell you is that when a weapon is on its last hit before it breaks, the weapon will deal 2 times more damage no matter what is in place. We can abuse this because when we're on a Lionel's back, our sword will never break. So with this weapon, we have a total damage output of 955 each hit. Next up is a weapon that is great for showing off to your friends. It's made of a pristine 8-fold long blade, which has the weapon effect Improved Sneak Strike to do 16 times more damage on a sneak strike rather than the normal 8 times. With this insane damage multiplier, we can get a damage output of 3047 each hit. <laughs> Three thousand forty seven is more damage than you'll ever need. But what if we got more? What if I told you there's a way to get over twelve thousand damage? What if I told you how to do it? Immediately you'll notice that we're not using a Molduga jaw. This is because this weapon can be used three times and refusing another Gibdo bone is not an issue. You might remember at the beginning of the video when I threw an Ice Boomerang. 
This is because when an enemy is frozen, the next attack deals three times the damage. So if you time your sneak strike correctly, you can get a three times and an eight times damage from the same attack. So with all of that together, we have a weapon that does 12,551 damage.